Okay, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Um, please, uh, you go to Blackboard to download the data files we need today. Today, we are going to do our last PowerPoint uh, PowerPoint project. First, um, okay, you, you, you can download this. Uh, there are four files and uh, the data files, images for lesson three. And the, um, uh, the MP4 one is a little bit uh, big. Is 12 m the size is a little big. Maybe you need uh, a few seconds, one minute to download it. And the spokes.pptx is a template we are going to use for today's project. Uh, I, I'm not uh, okay. Let's have a look at our um, our project today. First, let's have a look. We only have three. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have three sli slides in this project. After you download the uh, the files, the data files from Blackboard, you you can open the spokes.pptx one as a template, and we are going to uh, modify the templates to make this project. Uh, the three slides through the three slides, we are going to learn to uh, learn um, to add the main task for today is to add the audios and the video a uh, video video and modify this video trim it and resize it and make the uh, video effect like this and another important point is uh, to make the element uh, for each see for each uh, each picture or paragraph we are going to have an uh, animation um, animation. 
Um, we can have a preview on this. The question, it's not letting me download like the the sound or the video. I don't know how to do it. Uh, you right click and save on your uh, computer or on the virtual desktop. You can do that. Um, I, I'm trying, but it's like being weird. Uh, you uh, you right cl click on the link. Um, there should be three dots on the video if you click to play it, and it says download, and you could just download from there, and it goes to your computer. <sighs> Try. Or uh, else, can can you write? Uh, let me share my screen first. Do you have this screen? Yeah. Uh, for example, this uh, video, you write, right click on the link. Can you do this? Um. You will see a menu here. There is a save target ad. Yeah, OK. And, and then that's click it. And then I press desktop. Uh, click it. Do you have this window pump up? Let's see. Window. Uh, yeah, desktop. I'm on desktop. And then you choose a location. Um, desktop is the most uh, easy one. And then you can click save button. But it says, oh, okay. It will be take you uh, one or two minutes because this file is a little bit big. Mm -hmm. Okay, I right clicked on all the um, the links and that's how that's good to save it, right? Uh, yeah, yes, each, uh, you, you have different ways to download, but uh, now I just show one of the download. Yeah. And we're, we're using the same, we're using this template, where is their template? Uh, this spokes one, do you see this one? This one is the template. After you download it, you open it. Oh, so we're now going on PowerPoint? Uh, this is a PowerPoint PowerPoint file. You don't need uh, to create a new one. We just uh, modify this file to do. Oh, I, I save that to my documents. Let me delete it now. Okay. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Why do things sometimes things save on my Dropbox? I don't want them saving my Dropbox. Uh, you can have different. Things. How you delete a file? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, other system. Uh -huh. Sarah, how is your MP4 file? Um, I I got it. I mean, it says that it downloaded. So let's see if it. Yeah, actually you you just go to the desktop to to see if it's there it's there but i don't know if it's gonna download onto the powerpoint so we'll see okay now you can download the other files one by one yeah i did it i did it okay good thank you any other students have problem to download no let's go back to our Slides. Uh, what do you see? What do you see? Uh, here, we, we said that today our main task is to add the audio files, one audio files, uh, um, one video files. We are going to see how to set up them, how to trim, how to set the effect, something like that. Actually, it's uh, it's very easy, but makes the PowerPoint looks more different. 
more attractive. And another important point we are going to learn is to mix the animation. For example, see this uh, this picture. We add an animation. We have we can have a preview. See, make it slide in and and slide away. And uh, the animation for the for the text also. We are going to learn how to mix this. This part is uh, very useful and important for PowerPoint uh, presentation. Okay, let's go back to um, to our slides. Uh, the four files you need. One is this picture. One is this audio file, and the third one is this this video, and the whole template. In total, there are four files. Okay. Um, anyone uh, has problem about download the files? No, okay. Um, this uh, this slides is a little bit lag too. If you don't want to want to download, it's okay. Just follow me on the Zoom. Uh, it's up to you. You can choose up to your convenience. Uh, our objective objectives is I already said. Uh, color of photo, yes, that's easy. It's very similar to the uh, word project uh, photo um, photo operation. And add a artistic effect to a photo, the same thing. A line paragraph text, this is very similar to, it's the same, actually the same as uh, in Word and Excel, just a line right, center left, like, like that. Change views. Uh, we already said that too. Like this. This is a sort, sort, uh, sorter view and normal view and the slide view. And group, uh, and group, regroup. This is an important, uh, a little bit important part of our today's learning. Uh, to change uh, and group and regroup a set of picture. Is uh, is an il illustration, and also we can change the color, change the size, change anything of the set of the um, pictures. The set of the picture composed an illustration. Um, just this part on the second second slide. Second slide. Th this part is the illustration part. Okay, what else? Um, copy a slide element. Yes, after we um, process the illustration, we can copy and pass it to the other the other places. Uh, insert and edit a video clip in just the video we downloaded. Um, insert an audio clip. Yes, um, we are going to show, I'm going to show you. Um, control audio and video clips, control animation timing. Well, the animation we wanted to slide uh, to fly in quick, quickly, quicker or slower, we can set up the timing. Change the same colors uh, is the same as last project, just change the same colors and wiring to, to choose a color. Uh, last, in last project, we changed the theme for the whole project. Today, I'm going to show you just for one slide, for one slide, not the whole, uh, whole, pro, whole, whole presentation. And actually, it's very easy to just a checkbox. Um, print. Print handout. You can choose to print one slide or two slides, and you can 
arrange the um, views of the uh, print. Um, what to do? We don't need to, to read this, just do it. Uh, first, first, let's, you can open the template file, the spokes.pptx file, open it. Our project name today is resuming a presentation. It means we are going to modify this, uh, the PPTX Yes. Insert. But it's a, under, it's going to be under pictures or? Tell me what. Uh, uh, do you open that file, the books.pptx you downloaded? Yeah. Okay. Uh, after you open it, it looks uh, like this. Let me see. I'm saying I have to open it from insert pictures, like it's under there. Let me see. Give me one minute. Oh. Yes, maybe you need to download. I'm sorry, you need to download another picture. Let me check. Give me one minute. You don't have that picture, right? Uh, it's not there, no. Okay, I forgot to download it. Let me see. Um, Wait me one minute. I'm going to upload to block blackboard now. Does everyone need to do this? Uh, uh, you please go to blackboard. I am uploading another picture for this page. I'm not done yet. Give me one minute. Okay, now you can go to Blackboard to that folder again to download uh, the picture is named, I just uploaded, haydenbike.jpg. Um, My computer's like frozen. Oh, yeah, I see it. You see it? Haydenbike.jpg. This is a picture we are going to use right now for the project. Yeah, okay. Okay. Everyone downloading this file? So now I insert it into that into that um, slide. Yes, yes, exactly. Collect, uh, click the insert button, and then insert this picture. Then resize it, resize it to the same size as the slide uh, slide panel size. I have a question. When I press on insert pictures, the the video and the audio isn't supposed to be there, right? It yes. wouldn't be under yeah. pictures. Yes. Okay. Yes. Only the picture files uh, show there. OK, 
click insert button, pictures, then find this picture, and then you drag the uh, the upper side to the upper and or lower side to to be the same to align to the okay you understand that <laughs> and uh, right side and left side resize it to the same side as the slide panel after you've done this step let's do something of this picture uh, we do we will change the color saturation. Colors, color saturation will change the intensity of the colors. Color tone affects the coolness or the warmness of the of photos. Red color will convert the um, a photo into a wide variety of hues. Okay, let's see how to do that. Here we just change the color saturation. You can see if you uh, the different color saturation effects here. Color tone, different color tone. And if you recolor, it will have so many different effects. Here we just do a saturation. This this button is under the format tab. Okay, we're done. Let's uh, move to the third slide. If you fall behind, please let me know. Um, the third slide, we are going to change the artistic effect, the same thing under the format. Uh, you select the, the picture, the third, uh, third slide first, then click the format button at the end of the tabs. And then you will see this artistic effect. What is this under? It's under? Uh, format. Do you see from, uh, format? Uh, you, you can find it about this position. Do you see it? No, like you're saying on top, like where it says home insert designs, all that. Oh, uh, the okay. last one is for yeah, yeah, I found it. Yeah. And then you can see this artistic effect. Are you done? We choose the same one. You can choose any one you like. And you just need to know you have an artistic effect gallery here. And then this 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 is an important function. Uh, we always use it when we do PowerPoint. Uh, Images. We do. We want to send um, on this step now. The picture covered everything of this slide. Now we want to send it back, send, send to back, and then it will be the background, and other things will float on bring to the front. Professor, yeah. what artistic yeah. effect were we supposed to do for this picture? Uh, cement. No, the the, the, the first, first one, one also cement. Oh no, the first one we just change the color saturation. We don't apply artistic effect. Okay. Is it okay if I don't use cement for it? Because I don't know, I can't find it on my. Uh, okay, you can use the other. Oh, you... never mind. I just found it. Okay. okay. For is Isaac, Isaac, do you see this saturation? Yeah. Yes, I see it. Thank you. Okay. Um, Sarah, 
you you don't find the cement lab. You yeah, can... no, I, found, I ended up finding it. I found it. Oh, okay. Okay, there. Oh, okay, now here. <clears throat> there are just two but two different buttons to change the um, image effect. Um, now, because this picture covered everything of this slide, we want to send it to back here at the still under this format format tab at the right side you click this send backward and send to back and the title and subtitle will display here and another way is more convenient i think another this way is more convenient. Uh, it's quick when you do a lot of uh, this kind of work. You just right click. The, there are two buttons here. You don't need to go to the Raven area to look for it. Uh, just right click on the picture. You can see these two buttons. If you need to send it to back, click this one. You want to bring to front. Exist one. Okay. Oh, so far, anyone fall behind? If no, let us continue. Um, we down the uh, two pictures now. Another small trick to modify the placeholder. What is placeholder? Like this, the frames are all called placeholder. This is the content placeholder. And here, this is the title placeholder. Uh, this step, we are going to resize a placeholder. We want to resize the, this title one. You, you can see you don't need to do anything but you can click it to see there are two choices here um, one is auto fit the text to placeholder and the other one is stop fitting text to this placeholder we, we choose the first one by default and then you can make this title uh, placeholder larger you can add um, here drag up to make the font, the text, uh, bigger. And you can try to see the effect. If you make it smaller, it will auto, the text will be automatically um, fit the placeholder. You can be flexible. Try just try like this smaller. This is not out of fit. Is this this is it is out of fit. Doesn't just bring. Okay, now we're done. This by default is out of fit. I make it larger, the font is getting larger. The next step, now we want to make the text align, align to write. In the previous projects, we align center uh, this this three button is very important. Um, from your homeworks or uh, midterm uh, your projects you submitted, I see some students still don't uh, didn't use um, use the assign uh, the align center button. This center button, left button, right button are very important. Um, in every Everyone, that's a word, Excel presentation, 
They all have these three basic patterns that are very useful. Okay, on this text, uh, this placeholder, you click this button to make them align to the right. Next, stop. Especially in Word, these three buttons are more important and commonly used. If you want something to align to right, you don't need to you you don't need to press a lot of space. You just click this button. Oh, this button, this button is center. This is right. This is left. Everyone got this. Also, you can another way is to use the three shortcut key. Next step, um, during this class, if you didn't learn, you, you don't, you can learn other things, at least you need to know these three buttons. Okay, next step, to move a placeholder, you can, yes, we want to move this placeholder aligned to the right side. Just drag it. If you can't drag it, uh, you just click the edge area and then you can drag, see, drag the picture, the other placeholder, I think there. See, if like this, uh, this is edit mode, I can't drag, drag it. It's difficult to drag, you can't drag. And you click on the edge area and now you can drag it, drag it. For this project here, we just drag it to align to the right side. Here is how to move placeholder. And this one, this subtitle placeholder, we don't need it. We can delete it. The same thing. First, we need to select it. If you can't select it, it's in edit mode. You just click. You click on the corner of the edge area, then press the delete key on your um, on your keyboard. Or you can find a uh, delete key in other places too. And after, if you need, here is how to delete. If you, after delete, or in some cases, some situation, you need to add a placeholder. You want to need, you need to add, add a placeholder. You need to know under the insert tab, the text group on the right side there is a text box you can click it and uh, then into the um, places where you want to insert we're not supposed to be doing this it's you're just showing oh, you, you just show you you don't need to do if you need a text uh, text box you come here to find it to insert here you don't need to do this. You don't need to insert a test box for this project. Okay, after oh, we done this uh, slide one, here just show you how to um, display, how to use the different views. I actually already showed you in last projects. Uh, now it's a normal view. See on this uh, left bottom left corner this is normal view by default when we opened a powerpoint file and the second one second one is useful too is a sorter view you can drag it just as the other applications i believe you're all familiar with this and the third is a reading view 
Reading view is a little bit difficult. And the, um, if you like, maybe you need it, but I never use this one. Well, the, the last one is the most important one, slide show when you do a presentation. But now I just, for convenience, I just use this normal view. But when you do a presentation, a formal uh, presentation, you need to use this slide view. On the slide view, for the, uh, for, for the audience, they just see the, the whole screen, the full screen. And for you, you can see your edit. For the presenter, you can see the slide and the notes and the, uh, the small image. Okay, here. And here is just the four views of uh, the PowerPoint, PowerPoint software. And another, uh, there is a shortcut key is to run, to, to switch to the slide, slide show view. You, you can just press F5. Okay, this is the view. Um, if you try to click the third view, it will be like this. Um, uh, save. In case you please press Ctrl and S to save your file. Um, now let's work on the second uh, second slide. On second slide, we are going to work on these pictures. This small person. Uh, this is an illustration, a set of pictures. We are going to or uh, first. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, change the background. We are going to remove the blue colors, and remove this small dot, small droplets. And we are going to change the color of this t-shirt, change the color of the bicycle center, the, the, this small round area. Uh, in order to make it more or looks more comfortable, please zoom it uh, to be larger. Here is 19%. Where do you see zoom? I don't, I don't know where to find zoom. You don't know where to zoom. Do you see here on the bottom right, the bottom right side? Do you see? Um, okay. well, you, you can zoom it here. Here okay. is another way. Another way is under the view, view button, and there is a zoom. Here you can enter, enter the value. Okay. Okay. Anyway, anyway you can use. After you zoom, zoom <coughs> it's just for you to, for your convenience to work on this illustration. Mm, you click on this picture. <clears throat> After click this pic, select this picture. Come to this format, format tab, and at the right on the right side there is a group button. Click this and group and group button. Maybe you have this dialog, maybe you don't have. If you have, just click yes. And then you will got this thing. Do you get this this thing? This illustration is composed of a lot of. How do you do that? Okay. You, you, do that one? You, you didn't get this one? Here. No, can you go back maybe two slides? Yeah. Yes. So click it and then format. Yes. Group. Ungroup? Yes, ungroup. 
Yeah, I got that. Okay. If you have this dialog, you just click here. Yes. If you don't have, you got this. And here, what we are going to do. First, we want to change the t-shirt color. You just click on the t-shirt color, uh, t-shirt. And then, and As the- Every time I try clicking on the t-shirt and then adding a color, it just makes the whole box yellow. I don't know how to click just on the t-shirt. It doesn't like really let me. Um, just get your cursor on the shirt and like double click it or like triple click it and then it, it got it. I'm doing that. And there's single, still like a thousand boxes. Okay, single click is also work. Let me show you on my on my on my slides. Uh one minute. Let me show this one. Spokes. Okay. And you click, uh, click on any other there, and then come back to cl click the other places, and then just click on this. This shot. But there's the there's a thing like everywhere the thousand arrows and whatever. Yeah, you you just click the other uh, other places, for example, and other there to make the thousand things disappear. Oh. And then click this T-shirt. Got it. Okay. Nice. Okay, uh, then under the format, this is our format tab for just, just for this shirt picture. You can see the shape fill, shape fill, choose the yellow or any color you like. And then use the same way to change the color of the view, the two view hubs. If I'm too fast or too slow, please let me know. After you change the color, uh, the three colors, now let's to delete a clip. A clip, one picture is called one clip of this illustration. And we want to delete a clip, just this blue area. You just select select it, and then press the delete button, delete key on your keyboard. And after you delete it, it will be the blue will be removed. Uh, 
after you've done that, this step maybe need your patient, uh, need, need your patience. Um, one, two, six, the six droplets. I give you one or two minutes to remove this six, six step. You can zoom it, zoom it to very, 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 very large make this this part larger and then it's easy for you to select a small small droplet Are you done with this droplets we delete here? Yes. Okay, great. If anyone now down, please let me know. Well, now we already uh, done with the modifying of this illustration. We want to regroup to make these pictures as a group again. You, what you need to do is to, to click other, other places uh, far away from this illustration and then come back to click the largest one. Click this area. And then uh, come to this group button again to click the regroup to make them as a whole, uh, uh, whole object. Um, <clears throat> if anyone whose regroup button is a uh, gray, you can't click it. Just click the ungroup again, then regroup button will be enabled. Click regroup, and then it will be a, an object. You can drag it anywhere. After regroup, you can move it anywhere. And we want to copy one for slide uh, for the first slide. We want to copy it from the uh, uh, copy the one the illustration we just make to the first slide. Just you select copy and paste. Control C, Control V to paste to about this this position drag to this this location until you're done why oh, you have better to save it we finished the slide two and we are going to work on the video. Anyone has problem? No. Um, now let's see this video part. 
uh, radio um, first come to this insert button. I'm yeah. having an issue with the video. I it's I see it on my desktop, but every time I press insert in desktop, it's not there. Uh, you you need to click this video button, not the yeah yeah yeah. I did I did. Um, are you sure you are select from the desk desktop? Yeah, I'm on video video on my PC desktop, and I don't see it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. And I downloaded it to my desktop. Okay, let me see. Can you cl click the desktop again? Uh, can you see my screen? You click this desktop again. Uh, and make sure that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Make sure here the address A is desktop. Oh uh, yeah, it is. And do you see it? No. <laughs> and I'm looking at my desktop right now. Mm. Okay. Uh, and um, okay, I see it. Here? I don't know if it downloaded correctly. That was my issue. Um, can you check the file's name, the full name? Is it MP4? No. Dot, what, what's the name is? It's like XID411, I don't know, a bunch of numbers. Well, the name should be the same as you downloaded. I downloaded it how you told me to download it, so. Uh, maybe I need to download again. But I downloaded it the same way you told me to. Mm. Not the video bike. Uh, MP4. What? Uh, how is your audio? What is what, what? What's the name? What is the name of your audio file downloaded? Um, one second. It says sound. Oh wait, it says either I have I downloaded it twice. Either sound or pedaling sound. Um, pedaling sound. Yeah. Dot WAV, right? Yeah. And the video one is not video bike six s dot mp4. No, but I'm gonna try to. Yeah, you see when I try to when I try to download it, when I press save target as it automatically changes it to like a bunch of letter, a bunch of numbers. Maybe you click a wrong place. Let me show you on the blackboard again. Um, see, you just when your pon your pointer changes to a hand, a, a hand like this, right click, save target as. Okay, I'm sorry. A little bit now. Collect desktop. See, by default, the file name is this one. And then click save. One second. Okay, so it turned into a hand. I right click, I do save target as, and it's still, it, 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 comes up, so. it comes up as a bunch of, a bunch of numbers. I don't know why it does that. Uh, so do you see my screen now? Yeah. And then it says, and then it says the download has completed. And maybe you, you download, the download is not the file. Let me see if there any other way to download. 
Uh, hey, professor. So the video for me is kind of shorter than um than I expected because I can't get the between the two minutes and the eight minute mark for trimming it. Oh, it's very small. Um, how large is it after you download? Is it twelve? No, it mine is six. Uh, uh, six minutes. Six second. Not six MB. Six minutes, man. Six seconds. Oh my bad, man. Six seconds. So I'm not said the the time. I I said the size. That is twelve MB. Uh, I think so. Yeah. It's supposed to be twelve MB. Oh. All right. I'm gonna see if I can redo it again. But okay. Thanks. Oh wait, I think I found it. Um. Um, oh wait, you see it says PowerPoint cannot insert a video from the selected file. Verify that necessary, okay. Um, yes, another way. Can you, you can try another way, Sarah. Oh, nothing works for me whenever I try downloading. Okay, uh, you have another way to download. You just click on the link. Click on the link, and uh, you can see. Do, do you see my screen? Here, there is a save button. Do you see? Yeah, I did that. And the save as. Yeah, I did that also. Save as. It takes me to like. One second. Here we. How about I just right now I leave it be and then I'll share my screen with you later and show you that it doesn't work. Mm, oh, okay. If you can get other video, oh, video, that's okay. I don't have a different video. Um, it it should be work. Just click and save. Um, it maybe need need uh, a few second or one minute to finish the download. I mean, it's been, it's the same downloading, download as before. It's just not downloading. Okay. 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 See, it said finish downloading and you can find the file. Okay. Let's continue. And uh, here, after we insert, we insert the video, you download it. Uh, yeah, yeah. After we insert it, we can, we can trim. Next step, we want to trim it. Mounting. Okay. Uh, the trim button Trim video button is under the play, playback. If you select on the video video object, the video is an object of this part, uh, this PowerPoint. If you select the, on the video, you will have a playback tab. Under this tab, you will find this trim video button. And after you click this button, so do I not do this part right now? Do I just leave it alone? Okay, uh, uh, you, you, if you don't have that video file, you can just read the slides. Okay. For now. And if uh, you need to understand, after you, you insert the video, here is the video, you click on it, there will be a playback tab. And under this tab, you can trim, uh, trim the video. Here, we want to trim it to be shorter. Um, after you download it, it's supposed to be six seconds, about six, around six seconds. And you can trim to any size you, you need. Professor. Yes. Is there a way to, to um, make the video fit the screen without having to do it manually with the arrows? 
uh, you want to make it a uh, full screen or smaller? No, like, like we have to, it, we, before we had the picture of the bike that we made to cement, we had to make that the full screen of the slide. So uh -huh. I have to use the arrows, 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 arrows to pull it around. Is there a way to just press the button that it fits the screen? Oh, you want to make it smaller, right? No, I want it to fit the screen, to, to fit the, the slide. You don't, you don't need to, to fit the slide. Uh, you don't need oh, okay. to. Uh, if you want to fit the slide, you can drag it. Just drag it. Okay. Thanks. You can drag. All resources. All resources. Uh, you can find a resize button and uh, the uh, format. Format. Where is the format? If you click, you will find a reset reset to some specific uh, sites or use maybe for video don't have a crop. But okay, okay here. Uh, after you trimmed it, still under this playback tab, you have other Mm, other buttons you can use. Right. Uh, we can set up the volume, volume to mute or low or medium or high. By, def um, by default, it might be high. You can change it to medium. And you can check to make it play full screen. When you, you run your slide, make the presentation, make the video to play full screen and start automatically when the slides come to this this page this slide it automatically plays this video and also you can check loop until this slide uh, uh, you press stop button you can and and check it's your choice just you just need to know you have so many choices here. After that, you can have a preview, a review button on the left side, the left side of the ribbon area. Do you see um, the Do you see this preview button? I I press preview. It's very short. It is very short. I trimmed it to too short. So let me okay. It's already impossible to make it larger than that. Okay, okay. On your side maybe it's it is longer, the video is longer. Let me delete it. Was there a time we were supposed to shorten the video till I did it like two seconds? Is that good? Yeah, it's very short. If you don't want to um, want it too short, you can. It's, Let's trim a little bit. Let me see. Right. Okay. And preview. And preview screen.
It's not false, will you? No. Oh. Let me try the slide. You can try on your computer on your computer. You press F five. Press five and to see the effect. Effect of this video. Yeah, on the slide slide view it will display the full screen. Anyone have questions about this this video part? If not, let's move on. Oh, we are going to insert uh, the audio file. The audio file is very similar to the video one, but more simpler. Um, still, uh, we want to insert the audio on the first slide, to the first slide. Just uh, click, select the slide one first, then insert audio of the button is here. <coughs> then uh, choose the one you downloaded, paddling sounds. And after it insert, insert it, you can drag it to a corner. corner. And we are going to set up to, to hide during the show, hide that audio. Uh, it's still under the play, playback button. There is a uh, here we make three change. We change three uh, three item. One is that so that automatically when the uh, slide so is presenting, <coughs> and the other one is loop until stopped uh, until you move to the next slide. It it uh, stop it will be stopped. And also, if you if you need for your own project, uh, for your own presentation, you can choose to play the, for example, you have a back, background uh, music, you want to play, play it uh, all through the whole presentation, you can check this button, but you don't need to, to check it here for this project. And uh, uh, hide during the show just uh, means the icon, the small icon will be not displayed when you do a presentation on the slide view. Okay. Okay, here we are going to, um, so we, we already done with this audio audio setup. Oh, the same thing, you can have a preview. Just um, press the play, play button. You can hear the sound. And also you can trim the audio. Um, but here you don't need to do that. You just, you just, you, you just um, keep in mind that there is a trim audio button here. Mm. Also, the other buttons, if you have interest, you can explore after class. And here we want to uh, 
go back to this video to work on, on it again. We want to make some easy, some, uh, some style, modify the styles. Uh, first, let's adjust the size it display on your normal view. Uh, you under the format, change the format, under the format tab, you change the height, the width. Here is 7.5, 9.78. After that, we can make a style. We can add a style. We want to make it look like a more 3D, have more 3D effect, like a TV. Uh, you can choose any one, but this one is better, I think, for this, this slide. Looks like a TV, a video. And then we can add a border for this video. Um, First, let's border the width, the edge. You can choose anyone. Just make it look more obvious. After you've done this step, we change the color of the border. Still, this video border. Uh, button, turn it to yellow. Okay. If you're done, mm, let's stop here for today's class. Uh, if you already done, you you go fast. You are already done. You can send it to me after class. If you are not done, let's continue next class. Now, class, this, this part is important. It's very important for a slideshow. So next class, let's continue. Maybe we can finish very soon. Like the next class, I will find some lab, lab project for you to do if you, uh, you have interest, interest to do. OK, today, let's stop here. Uh, Question you can ask me. Yes. Is it okay that I don't have the video? Uh, you don't have the video. Can can you uh, share your screen now because our class already. Uh, yeah. For the other students, you can leave if you don't have any questions and see. Thank you, professor. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, you don't have question, right? Okay. Bye bye. Bye. See you Wednesday. And I stopped my screen. And Sarah, if you have time, you can have a quick share screen with me. You have to disable my screen sharing. Oh, sorry. Okay, you can share now. Okay, do you see it? Um, I already enabled the share screen, but yes. Uh, you go to the black box. Uh, okay, you can you, you can show me this first. Insert video. Desktop, and it doesn't show up. So then I can black Okay. Okay. Can you show me your your desktop one second uh you just press one second let me get there okay um okay um, can, can you show me your your desk desktop for me first yeah see that's supposed to be a xvid that oh that, that's a wrong wrong file okay no, look i oh shoot okay this is yes. it. I right yes. click, save yes. target as. Yes. And that's what comes up. Okay, you cancel. 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 Um, you just click it. I did that before also. Same thing. Uh, no, you, you, uh, no, no, no. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, click this triangle. Save ads. No, I did that already. It doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I know. I don't know what to do. Can I just leave it alone, I guess? Okay, okay. Uh, I will try uh, try to log into the virtual machine on my computer. You can just leave it alone for now. Um, I just want to make sure. I... That's, uh, you don't need to send to me today, but you need to save. Okay, yeah, I saved it. It's right here, I think. Yeah. Oh, save, and the next class we are going to continue. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Anyone else have a question? Okay, if you don't, don't have question, let's end the meeting and see you Wednesday.